Hi, this is Asin. You are now watching Asin Math TV. Today, I would like to share how to build a Nova table by using calculator. In this video, we are going to focus on two factor ANOVA test. Firstly, press a menu, down, right, look for the statistics function number 6. Choose one that are equal. Now, enter all the details provided by the question. So we have to press equal, 4, equal, 3, equal, and the rest of the values. So we have 6, 7, 5, 3, 5, 4, 6, 8, 4. Press AC, option, down, look for the variable, 2. Firstly, obtain the mean value for all the observations, 1. Press equal and we should obtain 4.75. If let's say we worry that we might forget about this value later, we can first label. The mean value is equal to 4.75 and we can store this value in the calculator, for example, store to x. So we can store to x. Next, press an option again, down variable 2. This time we should consider to obtain the total sum of squares. We should bear in mind that the variance here stands for mean square error, but what we need here is total. The relationship between mean and total is the total is equal to the mean times the number of observations. So which means that we can take the variance number 2 times the total number of observations that we have here, which is 12. If let's say we're lazy to calculate one by one, does it matter? We can click on option, down, variable 2. This time we should choose n, number 6, which stands for the number of observations. Press on equal and we should now obtain the total sum of squares as we can see here. Next, we can now obtain the sum of squares for the treatments as well as for the blocks. Press on menu. This time we should use the spreadsheet functions. Press on 8, enter all the data, follow exactly the same. So we have 2 equal 4 equal 3 equal for the first column, which is under column A. We can label first. So we have A for the first treatment, B for the second treatment, C and D for the third and the fourth treatments respectively. And this is for row 1, 2 and 3. Now follow exactly the same, right and up. Back to the first row of the second column. So we have 6, 7, 5, right up, back to the first row 3 5 4 right up back to the first row 6 8 4 after finish entering all the data press left back to the first column and now click on option fill formula 1 to obtain the sum of squares for each treatment consider the formula we need the mean value for each treatment minus the mean value for all the values so we need a bracket to obtain the mean value press option down mean number three and this mean should take from the first value of the treatment until the last value we shouldn't enter the value two and three but we should enter the cell name which is a1 and a3 respectively so we enter alphabet a1 to indicate range use alphabet colon alphabet a again and this time we end at 3 close bracket and we minus the mean value for all the observations that we store in x so we press alphabet x close bracket and we should take square press equal and proceed to the range for all the squares values the square value is going to be presented under a4 up to d4 so we should enter alphabet a4 alphabet colon alphabet d4 press equal and equal again and we should obtain all the values as we can see here lastly is to total up so we should have option down until we see sum select sum number four and the values that to be total up starting from a4 up to d4 so we should press alphabet a for alphabet colon to indicate the range alphabet d for close bracket and do not press enter yet since we have one two three values for each treatment which means that we should times three here press equal and we should obtain the correct value as we can see here which is 20.25 and this is the sum of squares for the treatments let's proceed to obtain the sum of squares for the blocks to obtain the sum of squares for the blocks this time we should make use of the column that we sum from the first value of the block until the last value of the same block so back to the first row press option 
still formula number one. We should use the similar formula, but this time we shall run through the rows. So we have bracket again, option down to get the mean value number three. We should take the average from the first value until the last value, which means that we should have a1 up to b1. So let's enter the range alphabet a1, alphabet colon to indicate the range, alphabet d1. Close bracket and now minus the mean value for all the observations, which is alphabet x. And now close bracket and take square. Press equal, divide the range. The square values going to be presented under the column E. Range from E1 up to E3. So we should define as alphabet E1, alphabet colon to indicate range, alphabet E3. Press equal and equal again, and we should obtain the value. Now, go to the last value. Check that, since we have only one, two, three values, so which means that the fourth value is not the value that we need. So we can override it. So we have option again down until we see the sum function number four. And we should sum from E1 up to E3, close bracket. And this time we should times one, two, three, four, since we have four values for each block. So we times four and press equal, and we should obtain the value 9.5. After we have obtained the total sum of squares, the sum of squares for the treatments as well as for the blocks, we can now determine the sum of square for the arrow. Press menu, select one for calculation. So we have 34.25 minus 20.25 minus 9.5, which is equal to 9 over 2 or 4.5. So we have 4.5 here, written here. And now proceed to the degree of freedom. To obtain the degree of freedom, very simple. Let's check for the treatments. Altogether, we have four treatments. So four minus one equal to three. And for the blocks, we have one, two, three blocks. Minus one, we have two. And the degree of freedom for total, since we have all together 12 observations. Minus one, we have 11. Then 11 minus three minus two, we obtain six. Let's press it to obtain the mean square for the treatments, blocks, as well as for the errors. Very simple. Take the sum of square divided by the degree of freedom. For number, we take 20.25 divided by 3, which is equal to 6.75. And 4.5 divided by 6, which is equal to 0.75. To obtain the test statistics, for example, for the treatments, we have the mean square for the treatments divided by the mean square for the errors. So we should take 6.75 divided by 0.75, which is equal to 9, as we can see here. And so for the blocks. Okay, that's all for this video. Thanks for watching. Hope you like this. See you.